Here's a four floor elevator which is run by Relay Logic. At least it's my version of Relay Logic. I'm not sure how logical it is. It's not complete. There are some situations where things will happen that shouldn't. We have a little rack of 12 relays here. Two of them are time delay relays. We have a bell. And on this side we have what is called a floor selector. And its job is to determine the direction that the cage of the elevator goes in when it's going between floors two and three. One and four, it's not necessary because if the cage is at one, it will of course only go up. And if the cage is at four, it'll only go down. The doors open automatically when the cage reaches the required floor after a short delay. They stay open for about eight seconds and then they close again. So we'll try going, first of all, we'll go from floor three to floor two. So we'll press the floor two call button. And down it goes. The doors open. The delay relay is kicked in. And they close. And we'll go down to floor one. Let's close these doors. And the doors don't open. We have a manual door opening switch. Operates the bell. We've got a little hay wire here. Okay, we'll stop here and we'll fix our little problem and we'll continue. What happened there was one of the arms that closes the doors was a little out of place and uh, it got stuck. So from floor one, let's go all the way to the top to floor four. You see the up relay is operating and the floor four relay is operating. The floor selector is moving exactly in sync with the lift cage. The arms open the doors. I've left the doors off so that you can see this. We wait for a while. Then the arms close the doors and then they return to the vertical position so that the cage can go up and down uh, without obstruction. We'll go down to the third floor. It triggers the doors to open after a short delay. They stay open for a longer delay and then they close. 
that's as far as the logic goes. It still takes 12 relays to do all this. There are issues, for instance, if I press the call button on the floor where the cage is parked, the cage moves slightly, but at least the doors open so that uh, a passenger there can get in and then it closes again so they can move to the floor they want to go to. Okay, that's it for the operation of the lift. The wiring of the relays is just a complete bird's nest. So I've made a little cover to hide the sins. On this side, the floor selector is the wheel that, or the shaft that moves exactly in step with the cage of the lift and it's uh, moved up and down by this chain which is attached if you can see it's attached to the cage here so the cage pulls the chain round and turns the shaft at a slower speed there's five to one gear reduction that results in the wheel turning round about half a turn I believe for the full travel of the lift and then at the top the motor is quite straightforward this chain is connected at one end to the cage and then the other end pulls up the counterweight uh, I can show you the mechanism to open the doors we'll go to the fourth floor hopefully so The wheels turn in opposite directions, they're just geared together and contacts at the back tell the motor to stop when the uh, operating levers are in the correct positions. That's it for this one and I need to move on. But thanks for watching.